Tamana Otawai. I said that I'd have a little rant about it and I am about to do so. But Tamana Otawai is not the same as Tomata Arawai. I can understand you being confused by that. Um, all these Maori names that just suddenly appeared out of no one's. It's sort of like, it was like a word soup, really, wasn't it? A Maori word soup. But Tamata Arawai um, is the water regulator. Tamana, which relates to the quality of water that you drink uh, throughout New Zealand. They are the regulator because, as I've explained on countless occasions, and with some degree of um, sympathy, I have to say, central governments never trusted local government to do anything properly. Um, and so when the poisoning of the Havelock North community happened um, in 2016, and both the Hawke's Bay Regional Council and the Hastings District Council were found responsible uh, for essentially negligence and neglect um, to do with that poisoning. That was the opportunity um, seized upon by Jacinda Ardern, the Naya Mahuta, uh, and by um, a whole bunch of Wellington boffins, policy boffins, to strip um, the powers from district and city councils uh, when it came to infrastructure in this country um, and turn it over to, well, a bunch of centrally appointed boffins um, who were nameless, but you could bet your bottom dollar at the end of the day with the friends and mates of um, the people who appointed them in Wellington. But no, um, Tamara Otawai is something different. Tamara Otawai and anybody in a rural background will probably appreciate this because Tamara Otawai is um, a dr the driving concept that relates to water um, and its use um, in New Zealand. So not drinking, not for drinking necessarily, although it is, covered, it is covered in that as well, but it is the fundamental concept um, of, of, of water and its place in New Zealand society, economy, uh, culture uh, and environment, all right? So Tamana Otawai is that concept. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's got a Maori name for a reason, Tamana Otawai, um, obviously roughly translated as what, the power or the strength of the water. Um, because it promotes something called wairua, and that is, it, 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 it picks up, and you would have used these, heard these words being used ad nauseum over the last six years, te awa Maori, which is a Maori perspective. And it is an inherent Maori perspective of what water is. And at its fundamental basis, Tamana Otawai, and you've got to remember this is driving all the allocation of water um, and its use throughout all of New Zealand as um, administered by the Ministry of the Environment and as imposed upon regional councils. Um, it gives water a spirit. I kid you not. You've all seen Star Wars, right? You know, everything's held together by the force. Well, that fundamental concept drives Tamana Rotawai, except it's called Wairua. And water is in actual fact given a spirit. Now, now I won't even, I'm not even going to, I'll quote to you directly from what the Ministry of Environment instruct regional councils to approach and the way in which they allocate water in their region. And here it is. What is Māori? Tamana Otawai, this is not my quote, this is the Ministry of Environment's directive to regional councils, protects the Māori of the why. In other words, the spirit of the water. I kid you not! Tamana Otawai protects the spirit of the water, the mana of the why. Uh, Māori that's um, M-A-U-R-I, is not defined in the National Policy Statement for Freshwater Management. It is a te ao Māori concept that speaks both to the life energy that flows through all things and the interconnectedness of all things. In other words, this is my words now, it's bullshit. It's superstitious gibberish. It is... Um, a concept, uh, and then it goes on to say, oh, you'll love this, you'll love this. In Te Māori, a Māori worldview, 
Fresh water comes from the parting of Ranganui, the Sky Father, and Papa Tuanuku, the Earth Mother. These gods share a Whakapapa genealogy with Maori people, and this underpins the connected relationship that Maori have with the natural environment, mountains, forests, and waters. All these elements are therefore related and hold their own Māori life force, a Māori that must continue in order to propagate life. Okay, so in essence, basically, it's just another creation myth. All right, it's, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's the Old Testament Genesis, you know. Um, I think every culture in the world has um, a bunch of mythological crap um, that, you know, is part of the culture of that particular country, whether you're Greek, Roman, obviously the gods there, Norse, Hindu, uh, American Indian, um, and in this particular case, Maori, okay? And also, let's be honest about it, Old Testament. I mean, if anybody really believes that God created the world in seven days and blah, 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 good luck to you. I can't deal with your IQ. Nobody can. Fair enough, please just don't breed. But that's fair enough. So you go to church, if you go to and believe in the Old Testament nonsense, um, and on a literal translation of the Old Testament Bible, you go to church for that, and it somehow sakes the spirit. But I'll tell you what, the Genesis chapter, chapter one, Old Testament, doesn't actually inform your life every day, okay? So it doesn't actually say, right, now we're going to come over onto science, this mythological basis, this, this whole sort of earth concept, and this whole creation myth, and we're now going to make that breathe, and it now influences science, I mean, I can see a difference between mythology and fact. I'm pretty sure most people can. Te Ao Māori, as explained by the Ministry of the Environment with Tamana Otawai, makes no separation at all. They believe this shit. I'm, I'm serious. They believe this nonsense that water has a soul. And it comes from the Sky Father and the Earth Mother. And these aren't, these aren't mythological concepts. These are, I believe this in exactly the same way that I believe that God made the Earth in six days and rested on the seventh. And that he created Adam and Eve, or Adam out of the dust of the Earth and Eve out of the rib of Adam. And they went to um, the Garden of Eden and they were tempted by the serpent with the apple. <gasps> you know... Just think about it for a moment. Imagine taking that creation myth from Christianity and saying, right, we're now going to apply this to every policy as it relates to water in this country. I don't know how you'd do it, but just imagine if you did. Well, that's what's happened with Te Ao Māori, Wairua, and Tamanaro Te Wai. Now to go, so the funda that's the fundamental concept of Tamanaro Te Wai. And it actually says, and this is, again, I'm not making this crap up. This is what they've said. Tamana Otawai requires, quote, unquote, that the needs and Māori of water drive freshwater management decisions, unquote. There you go. There you go. There it is. Um, okay, so... Black and white, God, I don't have to make this crap up. I don't even have to. I all I have to do is draw the line and just go dot, 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 dot. And it just goes A, B, C, D. Um, and so then, then there are six principles that then drive. So that's the overwhelming principle, right? I'm expected to go all voodoo. If I'm sort of, you know, oh, water management decisions now based on voodoo. Then, or the Maori equivalent of voodoo. And to be honest, perfectly honest with you, most Māori wouldn't believe this in exactly the same way that most English people don't believe the Old Testament. But, oh, God, no. We'll just make it policy. And then there are six principles that guide the role or the management of fresh water flowing from this overall arching concept. And those principles are ma, mana whakahari, uh, kaitiaki tanga, uh, manaki tanga, governance, stewardship and care and respect. Three of them are only related to Māori. The first three. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first three. 
um, which is the power, authority and obligations of Tangata Whenua to make decisions. Tangata Whenua to make decisions that maintain, protect and sustain the health and well-being of and their relationship with fresh water. Number one. Number two, the obligations of Tangata Whenua to preserve, restore, enhance and sustainably use fresh water for the benefit of present and future generations. And number three, Manaki Tanga, the process by which Tangata Whenua show respect, generosity and care for fresh water and for others. Those are the first three principles of Tamana Otawai and they solely relate to Tangata Whenua. When the Otago Regional Council, as a really good example of this, was actually probed on this, well, actually by me, and said, you don't believe this crap, do you? Or how do you define these principles and what they actually mean? Do you know what the chairman of the Otago Regional Council said? Ah, oh, well, that's for Tanga de Whenua to define. So in other words, let me get this right. And the overarching document that is going to, in actual fact, apply to all the management of all fresh water and one of the regions of New Zealand, a minority of Māori, and only from the local Tangata Whenua, not all Māori, for God's sake, no, you can't have them, they, they've got no status at all. Just a few microcosms of individuals are going to determine what they are, uh, based upon Te Ao Māori, the Māori worldview, and the superstitious gibberish that, in actual fact, underpins it. It's extraordinary. Um, and then, to make it even clearer, to make it even clearer, um, they set out a um, hierarchy of obligations, they call it. In other words, what comes first? You know? So when you, now if you've got all this voodoo nonsense imbued into your freshwater management practices, then, if, just, just to clarify for you, here's the hierarchy. And do you know what number one hierarchy is? the health and well-being of water bodies and freshwater ecosystems. They come before humans. They come before anything to do with the social, economic and cultural well-being of the land. They come before recreation. They come before anything. The health and well-being of water bodies and freshwater ecosystems. Do you know something that I find deeply, deeply, deeply offensive? And introduced effing freshwater species called a trout is more important than humans and human activity under the principles and practice of Tamana Otawai. Trout brought from a foreign country are more important than in actual fact irrigating crops utilising that land to swim in, or the waters to swim in, using it for recreational purposes, or any economic use that might, in actual fact, create growth, employment, um, and an economic environment for communities, um, towns, districts, and regions of this country. I mean, it's just absurd. Welcome to Tamana Otawai. And that is why anybody in a rural or a provincial background who's had any experience of regional councils at the moment, all throughout New Zealand, not just in Otago, is going, are these people mad? And the answer is possibly, but in reality, they're simply following the dictate set out from Wellington. I mean, it's almost spooky. All this spiritual bollocks that now underpins something as rudimentary to the New Zealand economy and to our society and human civilization in this country as is now underpinning um, or is now predominant over um, all those uses of water and all the way in which human activity happens in this country. Oh, God, no. We've got the spooky bollocks plus the trout. Welcome to Tamana Otawai, the nonsense of our time, writ large, and thank God the government has pledged to get rid of it.